In this video I am going to show you guys how to dominate the fortress game in Shakes and Fidget. The fortress is unlocked at level 25 and it is very important because of a variety of reasons. For example you can upgrade the academy building to generate XP points for you. You can upgrade the treasury building to generate backpack slots. You can upgrade the gem mine to search for gems. And you can upgrade the Hall of Knights inside the fortress to increase the gem stats for all members in your guild. There are two very important tips that I want to tell you about right at the beginning and these two tips are so important to look at if you want to progress in this game as quickly as possible. And tip number one is not upgrading any defensive buildings. This means that you do not upgrade your fortifications, you do not upgrade your archery guild and you do not upgrade your mages tower. You do this because you want to get attacked as often as possible by other players. Because then you can go to your mails, check all the fortress defense messages that you got and click on them to do counter attacks and counter attack all the players that raided your fortress so you can steal their resources in exchange. Another advantage is that always when you get attacked your fortress enters partial protection mode for 24 hours. This means that for 24 hours no other player will be able to steal resources from your main fortress building which is a great way to protect your loot and build up a big stack. If you are not in partial protection mode, the next player who successfully raids your fortress will steal 10% of all the wood and stone that you have stored there. Tip number 2 is leaving your gem mine at level 1 until you approximately reach level 125. You do this because always when you upgrade the gem mine, the time that is needed to search for a gem increases too. At the beginning of the game, you will switch items very often, which means that you are always in need for good gems. So to cope with this problem, you should leave the gem mine at level 1 until you approximately reach level 125, because that's also the moment when you will be able to unlock the underworld. To unlock the underworld, following requirements have to be met in a non-specific order. Reach level 125. Complete the 9th dungeon. Upgrade your gem mine to level 10. As soon as you meet the requirements, you will be able to find the Heart of Darkness in the gem mine, which will grant you access to the underworld. When it comes to upgrading buildings in your fortress, you should always put the focus on two main buildings. Number one is the fortress, as it increases the maximum level of all other buildings. Number two, are the laborers quarters. It is the second main building because it reduces the needed time to upgrade other buildings. You should always upgrade these two buildings at the same speed. This means that after every fortress upgrade you should immediately upgrade the laborers quarters. If you have enough resources I can only recommend you to also upgrade the hall of knights inside the fortress whenever your fortress reaches a new level. You do this because the Hall of Knights increases the attributes from gems for all members in your guild. That's why you should always aim for a high Hall of Knights level. As soon as your fortress reaches level 4, you will be able to upgrade the barracks so you can train soldiers that can be used to raid other players. The main strategy to win resources in the fortress is by attacking other players with soldiers. One very important thing is that the higher the level of your production buildings, the higher the loot other players will get from raiding your fortress. This means that you should always upgrade your production buildings to a decent level, so you can stay an attractive prey for your enemies and receive as many counterattacks as possible in your mails. I got you, homie! 